America is going down. You noticed it? Have you noticed that the jobs are drying up? You notice the SNLs are going out? You heard about that? How many know that at least 200 banks fail every year now? They go right out of banks to fail after a while. As many as 45,000 people are losing their jobs at a time. Big airlines are closing down right and left. Where are these people going? Where are they? No new plants are opening. You used to make tennis shoes in America. Nike and Reebok and all those things are made in Hong Kong and Korea. The automobiles are being made in Japan and other places. If they don't, if the Japanese didn't come in and put money in America, it would be already down the tube. So seeing that it's going down the tube, there's another reason. There are 60 million so-called black people in America, and we're all dependent on white people. So the name of the game is to pay you as little as possible so they can make as much as possible. Huh? Then we try to live like them. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we try to fake it while they make it. <laughs> we owe everybody. We owe... <laughs> Do you know that most black folk are just three paychecks from living under the bridge? <laughs> In the jungle? on the street. Some folk, most poor folk are seen to be one or two paychecks from it. Three is really something. You've got three, you mean you can stay three paychecks before you go outdoors? If you're not outdoors, this is called white folk, you know, have mercy. Right? They, they just want to keep getting something. But frankly, we are already living whatever we earn up to the hill. Bad shape America's in. 60 million black folk as dependents. It's not going to work very much longer because the Bible depicts you as the prodigal son. They even had somebody on Jesse Jackson's program I heard this week. David Duke and some of these folks, they were on their argument Saturday night. Did y'all, some of y'all see that? They said, you all, say niggas ought to be ashamed to be asking white people to take care of them. In, in that, you, you ought to be ashamed for somebody white to tell you you ought to be ashamed. <laughs> I mean, after 30 years of integration, you haven't learned how to produce jobs for you and your children yet? Your excuse before was segregation. Part of being self-sufficient, you must first take control of your needs. And one of your needs is growing your own food. This is an eggplant that I grow from seed. A few small mango trees. A little plum tree. And these here are my peach trees and nectarines that I bought. This is an avocado tree. It's part of being self-sufficient, family, and take control of your uh, your needs. That's one of the ways. Growing food, control of your water, and all of that system. Here's some potatoes that I'm growing in a bucket. And here's my rain um, barrel, rainwater catchment. I have two of these, two 50 gallon, 55 gallon water rain barrel catch. Small uh, mango trees that I'm growing. Tomato plant right there. A couple of more mangoes that I grow from seed. That's part of being self-sufficient, family. You got to grow your own food. Here's my um, cherry tree that I have in a pot. Some small cherries. Also another avocado tree. And a big tall mango tree that I planted from seed. So yeah, you gotta take control of your needs, family. Food, shelter, clothing, you know. That's one of the keys of sovereignty. Also, family, good investment is investing in some solar lights. Can't go wrong with that. These small solar lights, that's a good investment. You can't go wrong with that. Quite a few of my uh -huh, bought and put around the house. Solar light. 
inexpensive. You can buy these things from Walmart, Dollar Tree, things like that. You know, step by step, little a little, here a little, there a little. You know, knock down that um that um that price of cost of living. And like I say, it's part of being self-sufficient. You got to take control of it. So yeah, family, grow your own food. Prepare yourself. Hard times is coming in America. Well, they already here in America. Um, but I will be posting some pictures along with this video of some of the crops and things that I grew right here in my yard. So, praise Yahweh and praise Yahweh Ben Yahweh.